Hello! Welcome to the Science Kid. I'm your host, Quinn Friedman, and today we're going to be talking about ecosystems. An ecosystem is all the living and non-living factors in an area. In this ecosystem, some examples of living and non-living factors are the rock, the fish, the bird, the pond water, or the dragonfly. In this short video, I will explain the different kinds of ecosystems and how the organisms inside these ecosystems react to each other. An ecosystem contains biotic things, which are living things such as animal and plants, and abiotic things, or non-living things such as water, rocks, and minerals. Many ecosystems contain many different biotic and abiotic factors. The three main types of ecosystems are terrestrial, aquatic, and freshwater ecosystems. Terrestrial ecosystems are based on land. Aquatic ecosystems are in the ocean, and freshwater ecosystems are in other forms of water, such as lakes or rivers. Ecosystems can be natural, such as a forest or a lake, or ecosystems can be artificial, meaning they're made by man, such as a park or a garden. Ecosystems can be as small as a drop of water, known as a micro-ecosystem. A drop of water can contain thousands of tiny organisms such as bacteria or algae. An ecosystem can also be as big as a mountain range or a giant lake, known as macro ecosystems. Inside ecosystems, energy is moving and moving. Most energy in ecosystems start when plants consume energy from the sun during the process of photosynthesis. As animals eat plants, and animals eat other animals who have eaten plants, energy is transferred over and over again. Inside ecosystems, organisms have their own habitats. Habitats are smaller areas where an organism or a group of organisms live in. A bat's habitat can be a cave, while a giraffe's habitat can be a small area in a grassland ecosystem. Also, Every organism in an ecosystem has their own niche. An organism's niche is all the jobs and effects the organism has on its environment and its ecosystem. No two species can have the same niche, at least for that long. For example, if cheetahs and lions were both hunting for zebras in the same ecosystem, most likely these two species of animals will compete for the resources of zebras. In conclusion, all factors in an ecosystem are connected with each other, and the organisms in ecosystems use biotic and abiotic factors to survive. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Science Kid. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and of course, subscribe down below. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, science can always be fun.